Yo, welcome back, guys. This is Tim from Test Demi, the Test Automation for Beginners course here. I um, want to uh, continue talking about string uh, manipulation. We uh, talked about uh, formatting and concatenation in part one. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize. Uh, if you guys noticed, I had a lot going on up here, a lot of sniffles. Uh, my allergies are pretty bad, man, so I want to apologize for that. Uh, I'm hoping this next video should be better, but I just want to do what it takes to bring this information to you to get you to the next level. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go, baby. All right. Uh, let's see here. So what we want to do here is uh, we're going to look at a few things today. So uh, what we're going to look at for today's video is going to be focused around string methods. Uh, now in Python, Python has a lot of built-in functions or methods. In other words, these are this is code that has already been written by other developers that you can just leverage um, and use within your code to actually help you get things done much faster, type more elegantly, and make you look smart. Hey, hey, I, I ain't, I, I'm not tripping. I'll take it. All right, so let's get started. So, as you can see, I have a few things uh, defined here. Um, if you notice, we have our comment um, uh, with, with the double quotes, quotations, and that's how you do a, a multi-line comments here in Python. If you don't want something to go too long, but we see I have a URL here. It says built-in Python methods. If you want to find them here, I left the URL here. You can just go to this URL. I also have a few of the uh, methods we're going to be, or functions, whatever you want to call it, uh, we're going to be actually looking at in today's um, short video. So let's get started. So we're going to say string one, and we're going to call this string one. Um, this is my first, well, yeah first Python string in class okay so that's what we have right so this is my first Python string in class so what I want to do here is uh, we're gonna start off with the length function right so the length function len and you can see it here it, it shows F that it's a function and you can see it's built in it says it's built in uh, to Python uh, so what we want to do here is you want to pass in a value and all the, the length function does as you can see here is it returns the length as in the number of items or the number of characters of an object I should just say characters here uh, number of characters in an object so in this case uh, I don't know how many characters this these are I'm not gonna count it but guess what this function can do it for me so I just pass and you see this string one and uh, what I have to do is of course you want to print so you can actually print to the screen so put your uh, open and close parenthesis around that and it should actually let's do uh, let's let's do this real quick like we did from my last video let's do a demarcation uh, actually let me say I'm gonna say this is the len command uh, let me just say function actually it's a little more technically correct dig all right so this is the length function and now let's go so let's change this to part two and you can see it says this is the len open and close parentheses function and you can see the value uh, that was returned here was 40 so that's what the len command does you can try that practice it uh, play with it uh, you can do a number of things with it but it, all it pretty much does is going to count uh, how many values so if you count these including your spaces it's going to be 40 characters okay so now let's try another one we're going to say string and I'm going to call this string two and string two uh, I'm going to type everything in uppercase I'm going to say this is my second Python string in class okay if you notice I typed everything in all caps and what we want to do here is I'm just going to follow the same format guys if you don't mind and uh, we're just going to pass this here we're going to say this is the uh, this is the lower so what the lower method pretty much does, this method, as you can see, it changes a string to lowercase. Pretty straightforward, right? So if you have any kind of string, even if this was a mix, even if this string two was a mix of upper and lowercase uh, characters, what it will do, it will just change everything that's uh, uppercase to lowercase, right? So upper to lower. Say, bruh, come down, come holler this, come down, come down, come down. All right, so what you want to do is, um, in this case, um, you want to do the print function also here so we're going to say print and we're going to pass the string to string uh, number two uh, variable to it and what you want to do you want to hit dot as soon as you hit dot that tells Python uh oh 
that boy or that lady or that man or that woman or that person, that sir or madame, what they want to do is they want to call some methods. And we'll talk about methods and functions later, but just they pretty much they pretty much kind of do the same thing here. A method is pretty much a procedure within a class, and a function is just outside of a class, if you will. So in this case, a method, they pretty much do the same thing. But you can see it shows us the different options, right? So what we're looking for, you can see there are a variety of options in Python. You can play with most of these. There are a lot of them. See, ah, there you go, play. All right, so let's go back up here. Right, where am I? So let me type L. It takes me where I'm looking for. And it says lower self. Uh, we'll talk about that later. And what you want to do is you want to um, just pretty much, uh, in this case, you want to pass in. Actually, you don't have to pass anything because all it's going to do, it's just going to lower it. We don't have to actually pass anything we want to lower unless you want to specify it. So we do that. And as you can see, it says this is the lower open parenthesis, close parenthesis function. And you can see input everything from the string to variable into lowercase. Originally uppercase is now lowercase. It says this is my second Python string in class. Okay, so that's your lower um, function uh, there. Uh, let's do the next one. Uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. Uh, uh, uh. Actually, let me, I want to do this just to make it easier. Let me just pass an empty string. Uh, I'm going to pass an empty string here. Okay. Nope. Actually, let me move it here. Oh, no, I'm going to leave it there. Let me just put it here. I just want to space. Oops. What are you doing? I just want to space between our programs. All right. There you go. Just wanted some space in between there. All right. Uh, so let's print it out an empty string. All right. So let's do the next one. We're going to call this um, string. Oops. We're going to call this next one, it's going to be string 3. This is going to be pretty straightforward. We're just looking at a variety of uh, different methods within Python. And this is going to be the opposite. So I'm going to cheat real quick here. I'm just going to copy this guy just so we can go faster. And just kind of paste it, this uh, that uh, variable string in there. And it's going to be, this is my third Python string in class. And what we're going to do, we're going to pass, and we're going to say this is the upper upper function and same thing I want, I want you guys to see it again so we're going to type dot and you're going to see the variety of functions and you can see uppers here and it does the opposite of what this lower case of the lower uh, function does and in this case as you know what it's going to do actually you have to make this three right you want to make sure you make this three uh, what it's going to do is going to put everything in this um, that is stored in the string str3 variable everything that's stored in this particular uh, variable is going to make it uppercase. All right, so let's check it out. Pass it there. Check that out. It says, right, this is the upper function, and it says this is my third Python string in class, okay? All right, so let's go to the fourth one. Uh, just practice, 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 guys. Play around with it. Work with concatenation. You can do the input variable, a number of things. The, number, the next one we're going to do is we're going to say this is my fourth, right? This is my fourth Python string in class, and we're going to say str4. And we're going to pass in the capital, right? So in this case is going to be the capital uh, capital function. And in this case, if you notice here, this T, the first uh, value or the first character is lowercase. So it's going to be awesome. So it's going to make that uppercase. So let's go ahead and run this and see what it evaluates to. Uh, and if you notice it here, oops, capital, oops, uh, got too excited, got ahead of myself. Uh, but there you go. So same thing. See the capital method? And now it should make only the first, let's see, uh, yeah, it should just make just the first value capital only, not everything, right? So you notice that just the first value, just that T by itself was uh, capitalized. But here where we had the actual value that was stored in the str4 string, uh, you notice the first character in the string T is lowercase. But now when we passed it, uh, the capital method, uh, we ran it against the capital method. It capitalized the first value. Okay, uh, so let's uh, keep going. We're going to go to the split uh, method within Python also. And if you go here, just turn this to string five. You're going to say this is my fifth. All right, Python string in class. And you're going to say this is the what split function. And you're gonna do the same thing, but with the split function, uh, what I want you to do here 
is I want you to say I want you to add some value some more things so you're gonna say this is my fifth Python string in class I uh, let's say you can say I I, I am getting better at this I'm getting better at this and you're gonna notice what this uh, split function does or method does what it's doing is you have to pass a value that you wanted to actually split where do you want the split to start from so let's let's pull it up here so STC split it says set which is separator and the max split okay uh, so read up on those functions but what we want to do here is we're gonna say that and we're just gonna pass in the full stop right so it's gonna split this sentence right it's gonna split the first part of it this is my first Python string in class um, from the second part it's going to just split that all right so let's go ahead and just uh, pass this string 5 just for simplicity's sake and if you notice it it put so what it did is when it when it um, ran that string through the print function um, in conjunction with the split uh, method uh, if you notice it it put this in a list and we're going to talk about lists later so, uh, an advanced data type and you can see here it says this is my fifth Python string in class right so that's one value within this list you see separated it here saying I'm getting better at this so that's what the split function done it just separates whatever is passed uh, to it so if you pass like class or something uh, it's gonna just split those two uh, you can see it, it says this is my fifth Python string it takes away class and it starts from where it says I'm getting better at it so uh, whatever you pass to it, that's what's gonna split let's just put that back in there all right let's look at the last one for today's uh, uh, demonstration and that's going to be the replace uh, method in Python so you want to do string 6 here and we're going to say this is my sixth Python string in class and we can just take this off uh, and what you want to do here is this is the we're going to say replace function or method either one is fine and we want to pass it uh, say six dot replace you can see replace same thing what is your old what is your new value and you want to put pass account argument so what is our oh what do we want to replace here uh, let's see let's replace uh, I see a lot of eyes in here so let's replace the I comma and let's replace it with this special character the at symbol um no I don't want to do that let's replace it with um yeah, let's replace it with the at symbol. That's fine. It's just going to pass that value uh, to there. So uh, let's go ahead and run it. And you can see there, everywhere that you have the value, uh, the character i within the string, str6 string, uh, it went ahead and replaced it using that replace method uh, with the, um, the, the symbol here, the asterisk symbol here. All right, the at symbol here. Uh, so you can see um, it, it placed it here where the I was, replaced it here where the I was, replaced it here, and also replaced it where the I was next to the end. So that's pretty much it. With, uh, I wanted to show you guys about methods and using them in conjunction with strings. Hope you learned something. But again, again, like we said, I have to repeat myself, but I want you guys to be great. Um, you have to practice, you have to practice, you have to take action. And the greatest thing that's going to help you when you're watching this video is don't, don't just sit there idle, idle and say, oh, I got it. No, you ain't got it. You're not going to get it. You actually put fingers to the keyboard and you're typing away. That's how you get better. Just type along with me, pause the video, go back and rewind, practice, practice, practice. Go to the URL, look up some other built-in functions and methods that might work with strings. Practice it, play with it, and build some tools with it. Use the input method, play a, a simple game, do something, and be great. All right, to the next video, I'll see you soon. Peace.